hello everyone this data tips here so today we are going to learn about the constraints so we have couple of constraint which uh, you can apply to your tables these are check constraint not null constraint unique primary and foreign keys so today we'll start about the check constraint so first we need to know what are the constraint constraints are basically the limits which you can apply on your data so these give you the control over the data in your tables and if user tries to attempt to store some you know uh, values that would violate the constant uh, the error is raised so let's know about the check constant the check constant is nothing but it, it just allows you to specify that value in certain column must satisfy a boolean expression okay so you can specify the check constant on some particular column and it will be enforced and it will be validated based on the boolean expression so i'll show you with an example like how we can create the check constant on table so first we need to create a table so i'm going to create a table which will have two columns name and age okay so by using create command i'll create the table so i'll name it the uh, uh, test 5 table okay so i'll put the name since name is a string so i'll put a text data type and i there is one more column age age is number so it will be in teacher and now we need to apply the check constant so here the syntax is you need to write check and then in the braces you can write the age since we are enforcing the uh, constant on age column so we are going to write it like age is current zero because since we are going to enforce that age will be always positive right it will not be uh, uh, less than zero like no negative numbers so we are going to enforce that okay so once you have written it down you can execute the command okay so the table has been created so now let's see try to insert couple of values in this table So X Y C the value and the age will be ten and insert into this five X Y C C and eleven. Let's try to insert these two values first. Okay okay so these values we can insert right so first uh, before that uh, we're going to violate the constant first we need to check if the uh, constant has been created so let's see so we created a test 5 table and created a constant under this so we'll expand the test 5 table and we'll expand the constant and we can see the test 5 age constant has been created so if you will not provide any name it will take the by default name okay so so there is one more way if you want to uh, enforce the check constant what you can do is you can simply uh, put the constraint age check and give the value like this so this way you can give your name to this constraint instead of you know just randomly generated name by the sql by postgres so here you can uh, apply your custom name with this way now let's test and follow the constant now let's try to insert the negative number into the table okay x y z c c 
and let's try to insert the negative number let's see what happens if you run the command so you can see that this statement was failed just because of it it violated the constant and you can see the error message or this check constant does the check so that's how uh, you can create the constant if you query the table And you can see there are only two values. So this value was a script. So that's how you create the constant. And this will be helpful during uh, if you want to limit, apply some limits on your data. So that was it uh, for the constant. Uh, we learn about the other constant in the next videos. Thank you for watching.